Hey everyone, my name is Simsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL 23. Here today on the channel, we're back with episode 2 of my Collingwood Magpie series. Here today, we're going to be kicking things off with a match against St Kilda. They'd sit in 7th while we sit in ninth place. After two wins and two losses, this is going to be a massive match here today, away in Adelaide for Gather Round. Let's go. Adelaide Oval, of course. Collingwood v. The Saints. Both teams fighting for the top eight and those finalist spots. As Collingwood go forward first, and Mason Cox nearly gets to it. McStay, Hoskin Elliott, Ginnivan. Someone just put it into the back of the net, and it's a goal off the first clearance and Jack Ginevan puts his name on the score sheet. You beauty. A goal up. Looking for our second. Hoskin Elliott with the clean cut grab and can go back and take a set shot at the Riverbank stand. He shoots. He scores. And the Pies are in front for this match. Still getting used to the AI, but uh, I think I've worked it out now. A loss against Port Adelaide and Geelong. We came back and beat Brisbane in the Tigers. Now we have an opportunity to put the Saints out. As Hoskin Elliott looks for his second. And we're running all over the Saints. Doesn't look like they're going to come marching home. It's a three-goal lead. Bang. Second quarter now, Pendlebury bringing it back from half-back. Cox now comes up. He's been playing full forward. Couple good handballs. Josh Dacos to Ginevan. Gets the grab. Slight angle with the sun. Should be no problem. As the Saints haven't kicked a goal yet. And we're four up. Second quarter still. The Saints go forward, looking for their first of the match. Noble with a big punch. I've worked out a time now, but uh, unfortunately Maynard couldn't get to that one. It's a favourable drop. The Saints looking to bring it back to a two-goal game. Check side as well. They get the goal. Oh, the Saints having a bit of resurgence here in this second. Good ball in. Howe needs to get to it. Or Maynard gets dropped. Get it out. Handball. Turn. To Ross, is it? Oh, maybe. The Saints get another one back here. That's two in a row. I don't know what's happened, but we have just... <sighs> We've given away a four-goal lead here. As... Ben or Maxi King. I can't remember which one's which. I think it's Ben, isn't it? Oh, he's hit that well. I think it's actually Max. But anyway. Oh. Uh, not good. Oh, we were dominating this match. We could throw it. Third quarter now. McStay with the grab. Collingwood still want to try and win this one away in Adelaide at Gather Round. Elliott's in the pocket. Back into the first team. He actually wasn't on the starting default list. I kind of forgot about him, to be honest. <laughs> Our forward line's been so stacked with Bobby Hill and Majacek, Cox, McStay, Hoskin Elliott. Oh, he's a good. He's got a unique kick of the footy, doesn't he? That's a great goal. Um, for some reason, he wasn't in the starting 11. But now we're going to bring him back in. He should kick a couple more. Jeez, that's a good kick of the footy. Two goals is all that's in it. Nine points. Dacos in the midfield. Finds Jack Ginnivan ultimately. Bank smack in front. Third quarter. Can we stop the Saints' comeback? And we might be able to there. Three goals, that's all that's in it. Snatch and grab here at Adelaide Oval. Either side can win. 
Dugowie comes up. Oh, what an interception. Plays it on quickly to the top of the goal square. Finds Mason Cox, who's in it. And can go back and put his name on the score sheet. As the third quarter siren goes, we go into the last quarter with a four-goal lead. 7-1-3-3-43. Points Collingwood sit on. Fourth quarter. I didn't mean to do that. Bring it back. Saints, couple good handballs. Looking to drill it in. Ross's Saints. Oh. Find a man at the edge of the forward 50. To the pocket, Moore comes out. Completely mistimes it. Wait, it got dropped in the end. Not 15 play on. Oh, you got to be kidding me. After massive amounts of pressure... The Saints still get a goal back. This is going to go to the absolute final wire, this one. Noble trying to bring it out from the back. Can't. Putting pressure on, trying to find Noble. And Quaynor. Saints line and wind back up. Two goals. That's all the difference. Two kicks. Can the Saints come back? Inch perfect there. Ten seconds remaining. Hoskin Elliott. Oh, good grab. Regardless of this kick going through, there's not going to be enough time as Collingwood win away on the road. It's going to be a goal to put the cherry on top for a victory against the Saints. What a result. 49 to 34. And we get to sing the song again. What a victory. 8154 ultimately and we rock it to fifth place as we go and face Essendon in the Anzac Day clash against the Bombers who sit in 14th Geelong at the top okay so now Elliot has now come back in uh, let's bring Mitchell back in and rotate him and what kit? Oh, there's no Anzac Day kit, so I think this is the closest is what we're going to get. But here we go. Anzac Day. The Pies facing Essendon. In real life, I'm more of a Essendon supporter on Anzac Day. But for this career series, we're going for the Pies, of course. Looking for the first goal. McStay at the half-forward line. Goes up with the grab. Good mark. Probably can't reach it from here. So I'm going to try and find someone at the top of the goal square. Hoskin Elliott gets it. And this would be a massive morale boost for the footy club. If the Pies could win on Anzac Day. And they get the first goal. It looks good. Two minutes into this match. Hoskin Elliott puts his name on the score sheet. Still in the first quarter. Maynard, oh, how missed it in the end. Essendon have a shot. They're going to try and play it in quickly. It's a floating ball. Moore goes bang. But uh, completely misses it ultimately. And the Bombers have an opportunity to tie things up. We've obviously got a nice array of high quality, small and tall forwards. But so do the Bombers. 6-6. Six, six. The Pies looking for their second. Hoskin Elliott. In contention. Everyone else got man marked out, but he is showing how much of a high quality forward he is. And that's something special there by Hoskin Elliott. He picks up a second and an absolute truckload of goals. Second quarter now. The pie's up by oh, a goal. And it's just Hoskin Elliott. Everyone's getting man marked out. He's about to get potentially. A hat-trick of goals. He has been absolutely exceptional in this career series. Oscar Elliott goes back. Bang. Another one for the Pies. Side bottom to Crisp. Ginevan on an angle with the grab. It's a floating ball in. Needs to go back and slot this one on Anzac Day. Second quarter now. Jack Ginevan. Puts his laces through it. And it's a magnificent goal. What a finish from the young man. Our first alternate goal scorer, apart from Will. 
Oh, Elliot now has an opportunity. We've seen a lot of Hoskin Elliot. Can we see? Well, Elliot, get on the score sheet. After being dropped, bit of an injury, haven't seen much of him. Steps up with his unique runoff, run up, and he absolutely whacks it. What a goal. That's an absolute blinder there from Elliot. And we're dominating Essendon. This is probably the first team we haven't faced that's in the top eight. Or like really down at that bottom pack. And we're just I'm just sort of fee feeling and seeing the uh, quality difference as this is turning into an absolute rout here on Anzac Day. Third quarter, Crisp to put his name on the score sheet. He does. I haven't seen much of him in this career series. But now he's put his name on the score sheet apart from his real life woes. He's putting it aside and playing some good footy. Six goals up. Meyer checked now. Third quarter. Still putting a lot of pressure on. What was that play on? That was shocking. Ginevan. Crunch. It was actually uh, crisp in the end. Ginevan was the first tackled. Played a tackle in the 50. Come on, win that camera. And Mitchell turns. Oh, the former Hawk and Sydney Swans man goes bang. What a goal. It's an absolute rout on Anzac Day. And the Pies are having an absolutely outstanding afternoon. They're playing some high quality football as we go back into the ruck. Bombers go forward looking for their second. Oh, punch. Are they going to get it as well? Oh, that's a really unfortunate deflection there. And it's a spectacular strike by the Bombers. Six goals. It's all that's in it. It'd be hard for them to get a couple back with side bottom there, banging it forward to Ginevan. 40, 45. He's probably got the range on this one. I feel super confident with players like him and Bobby Hill. They've got such a good kicking action. Look at that. Jack Ginevan isn't that accurate. <laughs> like he's good. But crikey. Nine times out of ten, does he slot that? Maybe. Great goal there, though, from the young man. But the Bombers, how far they've fallen from their high hopes this season. They play on. Playing on quickly, not going for the set shot, seems to work a bit better for them. They're going to look for their third. We've given up two goals as the team's got a little bit exhausted, but we're probably okay. Nine zero three zero fifty four eighteen. 0 54 18 Pi still lead. Elliot trying to stop the attack of the Bombers. Quick fire from Noble. Quainor comes up. He now plays on. Goes down the corridor only as far as Mitchell. And Essendon snuff it out. Cameron gets it back from a dropped ball. Cox now comes up from full forward and takes the grab. Mason Cox has a golden opportunity. Bang smack in front to make it 10 goals for the Pies. To hit 60 points. He shoots. He scores and nets this one. That's number 10. And it's a great goal from the big man. Looked a little bit awkward at the end of it. But it was close enough for it to go through. Bang. What a revelation Mason Cox has been. Playing full forward for us now. Might be able to get on the end of another here. Can't. McStay. Oh, but Cox somehow does with the dribbler. 66 points. The Pies are now on. And it's thanks to that man there, Mason Cox. He's been awesome. Hoskin Elliott, who is a little bit quiet now in the third and fourth. He now steps up for Collingwood's number 12. Number four for him, and he does. 72 points. We're running away with it here at the MCG. Can we get another here? Mitchell now. 
showing his worth now back into the squad after Dacos getting dropped. Side bottom. Can't release it. Good tackle there. Only as far as Elliott, who slots another goal. That's number 13. An unbelievable scenes here this afternoon. That's Collingwood are smashing the Bombers. Ten goals is the margin. My check turns, coming up into midfield. Ginevan and Cox are there, but he's going to get it, Mason Cox, at the top of the pack. Needs to go back and kick this one for number 14 for the Pies. And what a strike. It's a stick of dynamite there from the big man. What a sensational performance Collingwood are putting out. And is the siren going to go? And it is full time. It's an absolute belting here at the MCG. As the Magpies storm home with a huge victory against the Bombers. What a result. Look at that. Four for Hoskin Elliott. Three for Cox. Three for Ginevan. Two for Guelphy. One for Martin. As we go away and face the Crows, we're in 11th. Round 7, we sit in 5th. And against the Crows, we're going to simulate this one. Oh, and it's going to be a narrow one-goal win away. Didn't need to play that one, ultimately. Good victory against the Adelaide Crows. All right, match against Sydney now at the MCG. We'll play this one here today. They sit in 8th. We sit in that top 4. Pendles is now out for a little bit. And we're going to bring in Dacos to replace him. But Collingwood facing Sydney. They're going to be rocking the old Heritage South Melbourne kit. And it's going to be a good one. The Swans facing the Pies at the MCG. Buddy's first game against them in quite some time. Let's get stuck into him. McStay. Turns, pivots, and hits it. Nice. Very, very nice. Just what we need. Sydney are a very, very strong side with an exciting list. We don't want Papley or Heaney to turn things on, so we need to score. Well, we really just need to outscore them, I reckon. Opportunity here. Papley or oh, turns Maynard. Oh, more. With the absolute wind-up, <laughs> doesn't go bang. And Sydney look to tie things up. Going to go around the body, the left footer. That's a great-looking kick at the G. And South Melbourne tie things up. Or Sydney, should I say. Second quarter now, Dacos goes up. Sydney, oh, Buddy nearly looked to go on there. Interesting kick to go sidewards like that. Was that Pap? Someone hit that first time exceptionally well off a step. Oh my, look at that. Whack. Go the Sydney Swans. Ginevan looking to get the footy. Mason Cox is going to get this one. Trailing for a bit, but... We look good in this match. We don't look like we're getting dominated on the ball. Mason Cox now to step up. And it's a wonderful goal there from the big man. I feel like his goal kicking is seriously better <laughs> in this game than it is to real life. Third quarter now. Pies by two points. And Sydney trying to get it out of there. D50. Side bottom. Oh! With the pressure, he's going to have a shot for a goal himself out of nowhere. The veteran side bottom. Oh, my. Shows the youngsters he's still got it. Look at this. Oh, what a beautiful kick of the footy. All right. Collingwood with a small lead in our forward 50. Tom Mitchell. Tommy. Oh, what a goal. Unbelievably against his former side. You forget that he played for the Swans early on. I just think of him as a Hawthorne man, though. All right. 
Cameron back in the ruck. We go again. Can we get the clearance? No. Oh, crisp. To Ginevan. Make the lead and the jump. <laughs> nice. Jack Ginevan to line things up. Should be no problem to kick this one. But yeah, just that brown and gold kit for Hawthorne. Tommy Mitchell wears. I've just seen him wear it so many times in Tassie. It's jarring seeing him wear anything else. The Tassie Hawks. Where I'm from. Tasmania, of course. Getting our own team soon. Our own little old team. Can't wait. It's great to see the crowds back, though, at the moment in this game. They were, there was a bug where they weren't filling at capacity, whatever. So the G is pumping at the moment. Jack Crisp. Oh, I was about to say he's having an unbelievable game, but unfortunately couldn't get that one off. Oh, and Mitchell. Oh, darts at home. He's not bad as a half forward. He's better in the midfield. That's where his best position is, but he's not a bad kick at the footy. A former Brownlow winner is just getting it out. Look at this, straight to Meyer check. Oh, we nearly got it out there. He's just finding the footy as Elliot and Dacos go up. Nice little back pass. Oh, good release of the footy, Joshy. Elliot now looking to rebound it. Four goals up. Crisp dropped. Josh Dacos. Goes for goal. That must be his first of the season. Playing from halfback. Never fear. The Macedonian marvel is here. Fourth quarter. And that's it. No goals in that final term. As the Pies storm on for a victory against Sydney. And we've bounced back our form this season. Now sitting in second. Let's have a quick look at the ladder. The Cats in first. Who beat us. Melbourne in third, as we go to face the Giants. Freo in fourth. Port in fifth. So Port, who we've lost to this season, and the Cats. Okay, so they're in and around the top eight. Brisbane sixth. Richmond seventh. Carlton eighth. And the Swans dropped to tenth with that loss. Who's in that bottom half that should be there? Or shouldn't be there, rather? Probably the Saints and the Swans. The doggy should be doing a bit better. Our percentage is pretty good. But there's a clear pack between 1st and 6th. Bit of a gap between 7th and 8th. So it's going to be interesting to see who makes finals, particularly with this new added difficulty. But anyway, unfortunately on that note, guys, we've got to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for episode 3 coming out the exact same time tomorrow where we continue with this Collingwood Magpies save. So like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and opinions and what career series you would like me to do after this. Should we do season two with Collingwood or maybe we should go and play as another side or do season two potentially of the Tigers or Brisbane Lions save because the AI seems significantly harder now, which is great to see. Anyway, thanks. If you want to see more from me, check out the videos on screen. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.